I'm Kim Kardashian, and I'm Aubrey O'Day. So, so how y'all feeling about the BET event tonight? We're just excited, girls night out, just here to have fun. Before Aubrey O'Day would appear on reality television as a winning contestant on Making the Band 3 and stay popular in the genre appearing on Donald Trump's Celebrity Apprentice Season 5, All About Aubrey, Famously Single, and Celebrity Big Brother 18. I did not ask for anything that I went through in my childhood. Before Aubrey would grace the covers of J'adore, Image, Palm Springs Life, King, Right On, Dub Magazine, Curve, Envy, Paper, and of course Playboy. Okay, here's the big question of the night. Yes. Re real or fake? So real. Can't you see? One of my boobs is a little bigger than the other. It's been my insecurity since I was very young. Before Aubrey would be linked to Hollywood hookups, including DJ Cassidy, Travis Garland, Polly D, and most recently, Donald Trump Jr. You have some mental health issues. What's going on? You have to that? watch Dr. Drew. I brought my dogs on and talked to all about it. Yeah. Them. She could have just said, Look into my eyes. Can't you see the crazy? <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're talking about the beautiful, the talented Aubrey O'Day. Now, there's very little in Hollywood that Aubrey hasn't touched. What I mean is, she's been a reality TV star, she was in the massively popular girl group Danny Kane. she's made a name for herself as a solo artist, and on top of this, she's worked in both Broadway and, well, she has a university education. Despite all the success, she keeps getting her heart broken by men. She should have known better than getting with Polly D before he returned to the Jersey Shore. It probably should have been, uh, well, a little smarter getting with Donald Trump Jr. because he's a married man. Well, anyway, Aubrey, I'm single and I ain't going nowhere. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life of Aubrey O'Day prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now earlier this week we made a video on another TMZ favorite, a girl by the name of Courtney Stodden. And I found out while making that video, she's since blocked me on Twitter. Or actually prior, she really don't like me. How rude. But on the other hand, Aubrey O'Day, she in fact follows me on Twitter. Talk about perks, people. How do you like them apps? <laughs> As always, be sure to let me know who you want me to document next. How about some of her ex-boyfriends? I was thinking about documenting Donald Trump Jr., but I don't know if you guys would care to see that. Also, how about the entire cast of Jersey Shore after they were famous? Sound off in the comments down below if you like any of these ideas. All right, now let's get into this video. <laughs> Aubrey Morgan O'Day was born on February 11th, 1984 in San Francisco, California, and her ancestry is a mix of Irish and English. She is the daughter of Candy Allen, who was a teacher turned lawyer, and her relationship with Aubrey's father seems to have fallen apart quickly. She stated, I have always been closer to my mother because she raised me. I never really saw my dad too much. To say that someone has daddy issues is a somewhat rude and humiliating way of alluding to a very understandable longing. Aubrey had always wanted to be a superstar ever since she was born. According to her mother, when Aubrey was four, she was at a performance of the Nutcracker and started to cry. Her mother asked her what was wrong, and she replied, I'm sad that I'm sitting here and not on stage. Aubrey recalls that moment as the one in which she officially realized her love for entertainment. She began performing at the age of five, she stated that she lived on the stage, and even at six she slept behind the seats of the theater. She also appeared in Annie and spent her youth attending auditions and acting gigs. At six she received her first honor, the SCETA Distinguished Theatrical Performance Award, and many more would follow. Now you would assume that this would have made her a star at school, but sadly this wasn't the case. In middle school there was an incident when Aubrey had to hide inside a dryer in her home at classroom to escape kids who were looking to beat her up. And while attending La Quinta High School, things got even worse. Now this story sounds a little familiar. In the past, when we've done Before They Are Famous on Hollywood Babes, well they seem to say the same thing, a lot. Megan described herself as being an outcast. She would get picked on in the cafeteria where people would throw ketchup packets at her. So she was forced to eat her lunch in the bathroom alone. So yeah, high school was a little bit of a rough one for me. There was a lot of eating in the bathroom. High school also offered its time of turmoil. A topless photo was stolen from her locker and was shared around school, earning her the reputation of being a slut. For Aubrey, her experience was less Megan Fox with Shay Mitchell and more Halsey, as she constantly was called vulgar names by her peers. There was a song the kids would even sing over the loudspeaker. It went as follows. Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey O'Day, biggest slut in the USA. What kind of teaching staff lets kids uh, do this during the morning announcements? I got no idea. Now, despite her social life being utter hell, she kept pursuing her love for music and performance. She was on both the cheerleading squad, the dance team, and Actors Anonymous, which was the drama club. Yeah, 
It sounds like they were really prepping their students, you know, for a life in show business. Aubrey also had various lead roles in musical productions, including The Wizard of Oz, Grease, The Sound of Music, Rent, and Wicked. At 15, she competed on a local radio competition hosted by Ryan Seacrest, where she made it into the top five. Ryan Seacrest, you know. Aubrey looks good. Aubrey's a star. She graduated from La Quinta High School in 2001, which at the time had a nationally renowned dramatic arts program. From there, she enrolled at the University of California, Irvine, taking a double major in political science and drama. And despite all the boys Aubrey had allegedly been hooking up with, being the biggest slut in the USA, well, her answer was as follows. One, I had one boyfriend that I slept with, my virginity, I gave it to him in my college junior year. She was a member of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority, and before graduating from UC Irvine, well, she spent a semester at sea touring the world. I'm assuming on a cruise ship or in some theatrical show. Well, she touched down in places like Japan, China, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Thailand, India, Tanzania, South Africa, Brazil, Cuba, and more. Now, if her dream of becoming a singer or actress didn't pan out, Aubrey was going to become a lawyer. But then all of a sudden, she heard about a casting call for Making the Band. She can sing. It was her mother who first tipped her off about the casting call for the Sean Puffy Combs show, and after doing well at the audition, well, O'Day moved from sunny California to New York City, where she lived in an apartment with other young female singers competing to be in the show, or on the band, or whatever. Anyway, they all had to live in a house on camera. Kinda awkward. Aubrey, stop looking at him like he's a stay. What's her name, Aubrey? You hang around black people, got some black in your family, something like that. You dance like you do. Y'all should all look at her and realize that she's dancing, she's feeling the music. In the end, she was selected from over 10,000 other singers, and in 2004, it was announced in Making the Band 3 that she was going to become an official member of Danity Kane. Now, the group's 2006 debut album went to number one on the Billboard Top 200 charts, and they opened for Christina Aguilera on her Back to Basics tour. But then Diddy, he decided to fire Aubrey from the group in 2008, citing her sexuality as a problem. Um, I'd be happy to get into any reality TV that comes my way. Despite her exit from the girl group, she had already established her star status. She appeared on the cover of Playboy in 2009, as well as several other sexual magazines. I have them all. Now the girl dabbled in everything from modeling to solo music, she was a reality TV star and a Broadway performer. So let's fast forward to her time on Celebrity Apprentice. It sounded like she had done some kind of penis investigation the night before or something, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Filming began in 2011 and Aubrey outsmarted many a contestant. We're talking Lou Ferrigno, George Takei, and Adam Carolla. She eventually nabbed third place right after Clay Aiken and Arsenio Hall. She took home $50,000 for her charity, but it sounds like she found something else behind the scenes. I'm talking about love, people. She's the Celebrity Apprentice contestant who Don Jr. reportedly fell head over heels for. Now the story goes that Donald Trump Jr. and Aubrey O'Day engaged in an extramarital affair during her time on The Apprentice, and it continued for a few months following. Now Donald Jr. at the time was a married man with three children, and allegedly his wife discovered emails exchanged between him and O'Day, where he had confessed his love and a desire to be with her, like he wanted out of his marriage. They wanted to be with this babe. Anyway, eventually he went silent on Aubrey and she was heartbroken, so she got to work on her own version of Gautier, somebody that I used to know, and she filmed a music video, which has only recently surfaced. Here that she was a scorned woman who had an extramarital affair, but then there was further evidence when she released her track DJT, where she was talking about a guy who has the initials DTJ. Yeah. Anyway, as Donald Trump was going to be elected president, Aubrey took to Twitter. Now she is a vocal Democrat. She had this to say. I'm embarrassed to be American. My story I didn't tell is worth millions now. This doesn't hurt me, it hurts America. So far, no word from Donald Trump Jr. or Aubrey O'Day has hit the news. 
Perhaps she got her hands on some of that Stormy Daniels hush money. I don't know. As for the rest of the story, well, I'm going to wrap this one up here because this is before they are famous. My name is Michael McCredden. and we make all sorts of celebrity bios. Be sure to let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. How about my idea for the Jersey Shore cast? Or how about Donald Trump Jr. himself? Sound off in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!